welcome back to theoretical constant matter physics and here we are with the fourth tutorial of dft practical classes and here we are actually trying to learn about how to use quantum espresso correctly to solve many dft problems okay and in this particular tutorial we are going to understand how to run a convergence test for energy cutoff okay well let's begin the only prerequisite is you have to know how to run a self-consistent field calculation what i have already described in the second tutorial of this lecture series and if you really want a shortcut i have provided the input file of that scf run in the description box of this video okay but the point is though yes at first we have to run a k-point convergence test what we have already done in our previous video and now we are at energy cut of convergence test and after that comes other steps and then comes scf calculation a real scf calculation okay but the point is to do the convergence test for energy cutoff you have to run several self-consistent field calculation so that is why learning self-consistent field calculation is a prerequisite for this one okay well so in this tutorial series we are using this test folder which is in my desktop here in this case okay and this is the input file for the scf run okay well so what i will actually have to do see that is ecart wfc that i will have to change right now k points is 10 10 10 why this 10 10 10 k points that i have already described in the previous video and i have also given you a shortcut right about what number of k points should be good for your calculation okay okay so let's go back to this and i have already described in the first tutorial of this lecture series what all does this actually mean okay well so let's go to ecart wfc so let's make this 10 at first okay that is 10 Rydberg. Rydberg is the energy unit in quantum espresso okay and while doing the convergence test for energy cutoff just make ecart row 10 times of ecart wfc okay so i will make it 100 and just save it as let's say scf maybe uh 10 okay definitely you have to do dot in this one i have told you in the scf run right you have to do dot in and you have to do all files here okay now just save it similarly i will do it for 20. now why i am doing it 10 times that i have told you in the first video of this lecture series well so just do 200 here okay just save it and i will continue to do that up to 150 okay so let me fast forward this video here okay so this is done i have made the input files up to ecart wfc 150 starting from ecart wfc 10 right okay so let me just close it and let me show you the input files you see here are the input files so let me just do view as details okay and you can see all the input files here serially right show 10 to 150 now what i will have to do i'll have to run all these files right so how to run that just take a new text document actually i have told you this before in the previous tutorials but nonetheless let me tell you this once again so just copy this file name okay just go to that new text document okay and write pw space uh less than just paste the file name dot in space greater than paste the file name once again dot out enter so i have to do this up to 150 once again okay so let me once again fast forward this video here show all the comments to run all these 15 files have been written here and now i'm just going to save it as batch file so just to save as uh, whatever maybe bt e card say c o n v dot bat okay now just do all files here save it okay now it's done now you have to copy all these files to the folder where you have installed quantum espresso right so just copy it so i'm just doing control a and control c for copying and just go to kiwi folder c i have installed my kiwi in c drive under the folder kiwi win and in the folder kiwi okay so just paste all of them here 
so these three files are actually the pseudo potential files which i have already pasted here in the previous runs so let me just replace them now i'll have to run all these files using windows powershell right so just go to windows powershell just search it here okay here is windows powershell and actually i have explained quite well about how to use windows powershell in the second tutorial of this video okay so i'm not going to repeat that here again so i'll just do dot slash cd space double dot slash to go to users and once again double dot slash to go one time further back and now i am at c drive right so just do enter now to go to kiwi directory just do cd and it's under c drive under kiwi win right so we'll just do qe tab kiwi win kiwi win is here and just do q tab kiwi enter just do ls once to see all the files here right and you see all the input files that i have created are here okay you can as well also delete all the files that i have used for k points okay but now since they are here let them be here and just run the batch file that i have created just now so just do dot slash and i will have to do bt tab ecart cunv dot pat right so this is the file that i will have to run for the energy cut confidence test so just run it by pressing enter okay you see it's running now while it's running let me tell you the essence of energy cut up why do we actually do this right you see there are two types of orbitals right gaussian type and slater type which are gto and sto now for gto computational cost is less so gto is easier for computation okay but the realistic wave functions are sto now what you will actually have to do then now you will have to take gto's of different wavelengths and let them superimpose to recreate something close to sto okay now see s2 is pointy but gto is smooth right so how will you get a better approximation for sto so you will have to superimpose the gto's with lower wavelengths right and lower wavelengths means high frequency or higher energy and also there is a pseudo potential approach which is quite bigger which i cannot explain in this short video so if you are really interested you may just go to this link where i have explained for 40 minutes what actually is the essence of energy cutoff okay okay so let me fast forward this video here okay so the runs are now complete and we are in a state to close the windows powershell and let us open the quantum espresso folder to see the output file and you can see here are the out files dot outs are there and this pwshf this is actually the web function file okay so what we are going to do we are going to copy all the out files up to 10 just copy them and go to desktop actually in desktop there is a test folder where i have kept all my input files as i have told you earlier in this video okay so let me just paste them here okay so all out files are now here okay now let me show you what we actually have to do now just go to this out file search for so i'm doing control f and let me now search for a uh, colon okay and you see here is total energy that's what actually you are going to need and you are going to need it from all the 15 files okay so if you do it by hand it will going to take a long time and it will be a really tidy task so now i have a shortcut for you which i have showed you already in the k point convergence test video but let me show you once again here also so this is the folder that's what you are going to extract okay so this is the extracted folder actually that was already there in my pc and i have just replaced it now how are you going to get it you are going to get it in the description box of this video okay actually this convergence helper that has been created by me only okay you are not going to get it anywhere else okay so let me just open it just copy these two files and paste them in a test folder where you have kept your out files okay and once again we have to open windows powershell so we are inside the common window currently we are in the user directory and in this user directory itself we have desktop right so just do cd desktop and within desktop we have test right 
and within this test folder we have copied the files for conversion sulfur right so just do enter and now we are inside the test folder just do ls once to see the files inside okay and what we are actually going to need is this batch file okay so just copy it and do dot slash and paste it here enter okay so just close it and go to that test folder once again you see one excel file has been created here right energy is sorted so let me just open it and you see all the energies are here right so just close it so the energies are sorted with file names right so now this file name batio 3 scf 10 dot out this corresponds to the energy cut of 10 readbook right so we are going to make another column here so just do insert okay and write energy or energy e cut off maybe whatever you want this is for your reference only okay uh, in read bug definitely okay now this is for 10 right okay and then here is one double zero hundred double one zero and similarly we are going to do up to 150 right so just do 20 here and 30 okay and and just expand it up to 90 okay now let's short the road so that it does not go to 100 just up to 10 right we'll go by increment of 10s right so 10 20 30 40 like that so just go to short and smallest to largest and expand the selection definitely short it okay now it has been shorted okay now it is a convergence test for e cut off right what does it mean actually i have already told you if you take higher energy cut off you get more accurate results right so atomic orbitals are represented more correctly in greater energy cut off now what energy cut off should we use actually so let's do the convergence test now so i'm going to just do this equal to this minus this what does it mean actually it means this is the difference in calculated energy using energy cut of 20 read bug and 10 read bug now this is 18 so this is a huge difference if you use 10 and 20 there is a difference of 18 read bug right so you cannot say which is correct either 10 is correct or 20 is correct or none of them could be correct right so that's why we are doing convergence test now let's expand it as we go to the higher energy cut ups so now we have expanded it and as you can see the difference between the calculated total energies using 100 read bug energy cut up and 90 read bug energy cut up is of 10 to the power minus 5 order right so that's what we can actually take okay we can also take 90 because the difference is only this much right so 90 and 100 both are okay and let's take 100 for a better convergence okay so now how you are going to represent it in your paper right actually this is also scientific but the general trend is to put it in a graph right so just do this and go to insert and take a graph maybe this one now we have the graph actually so just take it in a new sheet so just do move chart and new sheet okay now you can do many things to the chart so at first let's rename it so let's do e cut off convergence test so let me do this and you can do all other customizations here and also it is definitely always recommended to do your graph in origin okay okay let's meet in the next video okay thank you bye for now